Hey everyone, my name is Marta Yortso and I'm the Director of Children's Ministries at Jupiter First Church. I can't believe it is that time of year again. It's time to get ready to go back to school. Some of us might be feeling excited, but maybe others are nervous or scared. I'm guessing some of us are sad that summer is ending too. Some of us are beginning school for the first time or starting at a new school. It's a new adventure. Some of us are returning to buildings we know and familiar faces. Going to school always invites big feelings to come along with us, and those feelings can be different for everyone for lots of reasons. Sometimes we even feel more than one feeling at the same time. But did you know that God is always with us? No matter where we go, no matter what we feel, God is always there, full of love for us. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32 through chapter 5, verse 2 says, be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another, just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. You are the children that God dearly loves, so follow his example. Lead a life of love, just as Christ did. He loved us. He gave himself up for us. As we start a new school year, I wanted to help you think of some special feelings and actions. This school year, I want you to remember to be loved, be kind, be you. When we talk about being loved, I want you to remember that Jesus shows you love in the biggest way possible. Jesus wants you to know that you are special, that you are important, and that you are loved. So if you have some feelings that are a little unlovely, remember to be loved. Allow Jesus' love to be part of your day because you are a dearly loved child of God. As you remember that Jesus' love can fill up your school day, remember that you can choose to be kind. Maybe someone else at your school will have some feelings that aren't very lovely. They may be sad, scared, angry, or upset in a way that's hard to explain or even understand. Maybe they are just going through a tough time. Remember the love that Jesus pours into your life constantly and share the love of Jesus through your kindness. Choose to be kind with the words you say and the things you do. Finally, be you. There is only one you. Remember that God made you in God's image and planned for you to be just the way you are. God desires for you to share who you are with the world. So don't try to hide who you are or change who you are. Be you, the you that God created and loves. Let's pray. Steady and comforting God, with you a new school year is a reminder of new beginnings. It is a reminder of your goodness, your love, and the creativity you have given us. Though we have lots of big feelings about this new school year, we know that you are with us. We are thankful for the opportunity to learn and grow. We pray for students of all ages, abilities, and backgrounds. We pray for you to help them know that they are loved that they can be kind, and that they should be themselves. Help us to share this with others. Help us to have a blessed school year, and help us to remember that you are always with us. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you have a wonderful start to your new school year, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for joining me for today's big adventure in the Big God Story.